So yesterday I went in the snow. This is a terrible idea to walk in the snow. Then I went sledding for the first time. <laughs> and now I'm inside my house with two layers on and I'm still cold and I'm about to go do four hours of community service. Let's go. We meet again. So today I wanted to talk about why I hate sports. Well, not why I hate sports, because I do like some. Not football. Not baseball. But why I don't play sports, or I'm not on a sport team. Because there's always that stereotype that gay people don't really do sports because they're weak, or they just rather hang out with girls. And that's true for the most part. But there's other reasons why. Here are some of them. Number one, we just don't have time for it. When I was a freshman, I got home at like 4 o'clock and you had so much homework at our school that you would it would probably take around 4 hours to do, so that's already 8 o'clock. Then I have piano after practice, so that's like an hour, so it's made that 9 p.m. Then there's the fact that some people want to socialize and, you know, actually eat food and drink and go to the bathroom, so let's just go with 11 p.m. That's like the average time that I went to sleep. Then you wake up at 6.30 and you do your homework while you're eating breakfast and you do it on the way to school because it's a 45 minute ride. So pretty busy in my opinion, but other people at our school did it and I don't know how they did it, but congrats to you. Then there's the fact that I just don't have good luck with sports. I never had when I was a child. When I was eight years old, I went onto a youth 13 group somehow and for some reason, there was a 25 year old on our team as the goalie. So not really fun when the people you play are twice your size. Then sometimes they're too tall that they kick you in the face by accident. And then you break your nose and then you have to quit that sport. Then you move on to the next sport, which is swimming. But then you realize you suck at swimming because when you do a turn, you run into the wall. Then you quit swimming, but then you find a new sport. But guess what? You do that new sport for less than a year and you're already moving to a new place. That they don't have it here. Just a little bit bad luck. Um, if you've been with me since like before June, I guess. Welcome new people, by the way. You'll know that I love Ultimate Frisbee, and it's always gonna be near and dear to my heart because it's the one sport that I was actually good at. Good at, okay? And the main reason is, I have my friends on that team. Ones who are mainly girls. Because I don't know how to function on a just boys team, because guess what? I don't have any boys that are friends. I mean, I had some when I was in 8th grade, but then I realized I was gay, so I switched over to the girl side, and then I had around 3 guy friends in ninth grade, and I have like 2 right now, which is good. I have a streak with 1, and I have around 10 contacts that are guys in my phone book. Did I just call that a phone book? Who am I? <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know how to talk to guys because I just don't get them. You Straight men are weird. Hope someone gets offended. Please get offended. And I'm not bad at sports. I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm at like a solid 6, maybe 6.5. Like there are some people in my gym class right now who run away from the ball or they just hit it and it goes away, just out of the room. Goes to heaven, goes to hell, whichever one you prefer. And how about the fact that it's tiring? Like, very tiring. My friends tell me what they go through on sports, and I'm just like, you don't survive that. That conditioning is more than I've ever done in my life. And then there's those times where it's like, I don't really care about sports right now. I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna get the 100, and I'm gonna leave. Because the guys in gym are assholes. Period. And the freshmen are even worse, because like, I don't get why people try so hard at the school, and they're just tryhards. And then the sophomores are even worse because they all like, no homo, but I'm gonna smack your butt in the locker room. <laughs> Based on a true story, by the way. And honestly, if it wasn't for that one guy in my gym class who somehow became my friend, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question how I became his friend, um, I'd be transgender. Hopefully, I didn't offend any transgenders there. But yeah. Those are basically the reasons why I don't do sports, or I'm not on a sports team. If I had to choose one sport to do, it would obviously be Ultimate Frisbee, and I only want to do it with my old team because they were the best. So if you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about why you hate sports or you do like sports, and subscribe because I post videos every Saturday slash random days. I love you guys and everything is less than three. And now, I'm gonna go do four hours of community service. Bye!